Hi to all my amateur radio friends around the world, wherever you are watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm very grateful to you for uh, for tuning in. My name is John and my amateur radio call sign is Golf Whiskey 3, Juliet Victor Bravo. Uh, more details on QRZ, of course, if you want to uh, to look me up. Now, I'm sorry to say I'm the culprit for developing and releasing um, an app for iOS called Hambands. Um, in recent weeks to the amateur radio community. Um, Hambands is an app that gives you access to HF data, HF's frequency spectrum data on all the band plans, many band plans around the world, very quickly at a glance information. Now, originally, I'd only planned on releasing Hambands for iOS, Apple devices. But since launch a few weeks ago, I've been inundated with messages of support and encouragement all over the world. It's It's been amazing. I've been, it's overwhelming, uh, uh, the number of messages I've received. But I've especially had many messages from Android users asking, will there be an Android version of the code? So much so, it's prompted me to do this little YouTube update video. So the good news is that um, I'm happy to listen, and yes, indeed, there will be an Android version. I've started development of the Android version, and I'll let you know on social media when that will be available. Uh, so some good news there as well. Now, I have no plans on becoming a YouTuber. I don't have a face for YouTubers, I'm sure you'll all agree. Uh, this video is simply my attempt at showing, uh, giving you a little update and showing what Hambands is, what you can do with it, and how you can get hold of it. So if you've got any feedback or suggestions, please leave them down in the comments, either here on YouTube, or you can uh, leave them in the comments wherever you see this on, on social media. Alternatively, take a look at www.hambandsapp.com Dot com where there's a contact form. I'll leave all the details, of course, down in the YouTube comments, as folk uh, tend to do. All the links will be there <clears throat> if you want to, uh, to to contact me. So I'll move on now to a demo of the Hambands app itself. Enough of my ugly mug. Thanks for tuning in. If you've stayed this uh, this long, thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Uh, I'll now do a demo of uh, of handbands and what you can what you can do with it. So wherever you are, thanks for tuning in. Keep yourselves and your families safe and well. And I bid you all seventy three. Okay, so here's a screen on an Apple iPhone twelve, which is showing you the handbands app. There's the logo. Once you've installed it from the App Store, it appears on your uh, on your device. Double click to launch and handbands launches. This is currently launched in dark mode and obviously we've got a light mode appearance as well. Back to dark mode. Now the first thing is you see welcome along the top here. If you wanted to see your name and your call sign there simply click on the profile button, add your details in here. I'll put my name and my call sign in there. No need to press enter or anything, you can tab out if you want to but now I go back to the home page and my details, my name and my call sign now appears at the top of the home page. And this is a little feature, you can have whatever band and image you want showing at the top of the page. Just scroll through the list of featured items. So this is the home page where you can scroll up and down and vertically scrolling through all of the countries. Uh, six countries at the moment, Canada, Ireland, Italy, Spain, the UK and the US of A. So if you want your country featured and it's not currently in the app, please give me a shout. I'll be more than happy to do the research and get your country's information all uh, up and running and loaded. So we keep in handbands, we keep um, all the information about the HF bands, 160 down to 10 metres. So uh, vertically scrolling are the list of countries, horizontally scrolling within each country are the bands available within that country. So if I scroll down to, let's just say, the UK 60 metre band, click on that. This now shows me the detail at a glance, all the information I needed to know about UK 60 metres. You can see I've got the actual mode, the data CW and SSB range, where the contests are permitted, what licence conditions are, um, as well as your name appearing at the top. This is a fully functional map. Uh, future releases will have uh, the ability to click on the country and load that band info for that particular country. Here's the information that we've got currently in the app about the UK 60 metre mode. Now you also spotted possibly that you can see a star image here. That allows me to mark this particular band as one of my favourites. More on that in a second. Now I'm going to go back to the main page. Uh, beg your pardon, by clicking on handbands and scrolling up to the top. The 
about page just gives you a little information about the privacy and how to contact us if you click on the support link it opens up the um, the app uh, website on the app and takes us to where you can contact us uh, by sending us an email I'll go back to handbands so now this feature the your list feature this is where handbands actually allows you to tailor this list to show whichever bands you want to so at the moment it looks as though all of the bands from all of the countries are currently selected so if I wanted to just see the bands in the USA I click on the list and I would select USA that is now filtered the list and is only showing me bands from the USA likewise if I wanted to see the bands from Canada that's now updated to show me the bands from Canada however there's another feature here that you can mark any of the bands as one of your favorite bands so for example let's have a look at the favorites <clears throat> if I show all of the countries all of the favorites these are currently the items in the app that are marked as favorites I default the 160 meter band as a favorite just as a starter for 10 for when you launch the app so that you can see the actual uh, the function of the favorite uh, button so if I don't want to see Italy 160 meters in my list of favorites I can simply click on Italy deselect the star go back to the list and Italy is no longer in my list of favorite of course Italy 160 is still featured in the list of bands available um, it's just no longer marked as a favorite so if I wanted to add for example Italy 20 meters as a favorite I simply click on the favorite button and go back view my favorites and you can see that Italy is selected now if you're wondering why it's only showing Italy is because there's a further filter where I'm now showing Italy and favorites only so my favorites from Italy if I select all all of the favorites appear from all of the countries across all of the bands and you can see Italy 20 meters is there now let me show non favorites and I want to add the UK 60 meter as a favorite so I'll navigate to that band click the favorite go back show my list of favorites and you can see that the UK 60 meter band is now showing so if I now go back to the main page um, I can quickly again navigate to any point um, any frequency band is uh, down to 10 meters in Canada it also tells you whether contests are permitted um, and it gives you a link to the official regulator so if I were to click on the link on that page it should take me to the official site for that band if available in the country that you've selected uh, obviously this varies per country so in the UK for example if I went to 40 meters and clicked the link this will take me to the 40 meter area of the UK band plan for the Radio Society of Great Britain um, the information that you can drill down to here is dependent upon the information available in each of the origin countries so there we are that's a bit of a summary a lot more to play with I'll leave the rest to you I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview as to what handbands was and what you can uh, what you can see when you use it visit www.handbandsapp.com where you can find a contact us form and how to download it there's a direct link to the app store there but of course just search for handbands on the apple app store and you'll find it available for download so thanks for watching this little presentation it's just something to give you a bit of an overview